in these annual German Fest turns 15 this year. Our Nico Panisi, the best dressed morning reporter in all of WRTV on this Friday morning at the Athenaeum with what we can expect. Look at you guy with the hat. Is best dressed my official title now? Did I you, love to hear that. Well, yes. Accept it, take it, and take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's touted as Downtown Indy's best house party. German Fest is back for its 15th year. You'll get a chance to discover your inner German and party here at the Athenaeum this Saturday. And this morning, I am surrounded by such delicious smelling food on display this morning. We're actually having a little bit of a demonstration. I'm joined by Travis Yarda with the German American Club of Indianapolis. What are we making this morning? Well, I'm displaying our Kartoffelpuffer for you this morning. This is my wife's family recipe, all made from scratch, made from uh, potatoes and onion and flour and egg and some special ingredients. So I've got those here. And I can take you over here to some of the other offerings. This is a Klaus Meats Metwurst. That is a unique sausage specialty of Klaus. I think it's one of the best things that he makes. So you definitely want to come have that. But we'll have bratwurst and smoked chops and uh, frikadellen, which is a special meat patty. Yeah, um, delicious. And I hear there's going to be a bratwurst eating contest. There is. Is that yes. something you're going to be participating in? I will in? not be. I will not be. <laughs> you but, can't uh, eat 10 bratwurst in a no, sitting? No, <laughs> no, I cannot. I cannot. Okay, what uh, so, else do we have over well, here? Well, so we also have some new this year called the uh, uh, vegetarian or cabina which is the vegetarian cabin and we will have uh, beyond meats special bratwurst again that's meat free uh, we are making a special we're calling it a beyond frick uh, it's a special patty we're putting together uh, with the same beyond uh, the product and put it together to make it like a frikadellen um, there's the kartoffel puffer um, of course, we're going to have Bavarian pretzels. That is from Ditch. That's an authentic Bavarian pretzel uh, served with mustard or beer cheese. Uh, and then my wife, uh, Amy, has made her, her uh, company, Amantra, has made the desserts for the festival. We have a uh, cream puff there. We call those a Vinbeute. Uh, that's pastry shell with Bavarian cream inside of it. And then she'll also have a chocolate torte, a chocolate torte. Uh, and then she's made some special macaron for the uh, for the event as well. That is the the German tricolor with dark chocolate, raspberry, and lemon. Beautiful. So it seems that they're sweet, they're savory, mm -hmm. and there's also something for everyone. Before the camera was rolling, we were talking about how this is a family-oriented mm -hmm. event, Certainly. and it seems like you have stuff that's inclusive, even for folks who are vegetarian or oh, vegan. Definitely. Yeah. So um, you know, we're going to also have chicken. So we have non-pork items. German food is so heavily pork traditionally, but yeah, you know, eight percent of Germany is is vegetarian now, upwards of that. And so we're we're definitely expanding out and being as inclusive for all of our German Americans and everyone. So of all of these items, which one would you say is your favorite to enjoy? My favorite to enjoy. It's going to be hard to go against that Metwurst. That is such a wonderful <laughs> sausage that they make down on Shelby Street there. But my wife's kartoffel puffer, family recipe from scratch, that's... That's Wonderful. just hard strings, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that with Certainly. me this morning. It smells absolutely delicious. Thank you for joining us. Certainly. And German Fest will be happening this Saturday from noon to 6, Raphael and Todd. So listen, we want nothing to go to waste. You bring all those German delicacies back to Studio A so we can enjoy German Well, I'll Fest probably be only. eating them in the car on my way back. Fair I don't enough. know if there's going to be anything <laughs> left for you guys back in the studio. Here's what you need to do, Nico. Just take a piece of pretzel and get a big swab of mustard on there and eat it and see what happens. Oh, a oh I would love to do that. Uh, yeah. All right. You're, I mean, you'll, you'll clear your sinuses. Are smelling your really sinuses. good with That'll some applesauce. I hear that's traditional. What people have with it is some applesauce on the potato pancake. And so Nico, before we I'll leave, let you guys go ahead, finish. Get back to the newscast while I uh, while I enjoy some of this this morning. And by the way, I think you found the perfect headgear as we get into winter coverage here. In a matter of weeks, we expect you to wear that hat. The fedora is your thing. All right, fedoras are back. It's fashion statement. <laughs> now you guys know that this is uh, what all the cool kids are wearing. So thank you, you very much, guys. You are the coolest kid.